Yo, what's up everybody? It's Victon here with a tool update on one of the best tools I have seen in a long time. I did not even understand how I did not know about this. I actually found out about this through Crouching Tuna in his stream. I just saw him casually using it and I was like, holy macaroni. Uh, so I did some research and I figured out what it was. I downloaded it and it is game changing, I have to tell you. Uh, so I'm super excited to be able to show you these. Uh, I'm not sure, I haven't even looked and seen if there's like a tutorial on YouTube for it. Maybe there is, maybe it's all over the place. Maybe every other person in all of Path of Exile knows about this except me somehow. But uh, if there's not, if there's one of you out there that has not seen this, I will be happy making this guide just for you. So what is it? It's called Better Trading in Path of Exile. Uh, or, well, better Path of Exile trading. Same thing. Uh, but basically, it's an extension through Chrome or Firefox. However, uh, I'm using it through Chrome. Uh, I did try it on Firefox, and it said that it is not going to get updated any further through Firefox. So I would definitely suggest you guys going through Chrome. Uh, so use Chrome. Uh, go to this link right here. I'm going to have this linked in the description for you guys. It's called Better Path of Exile Trading, right? And you just click uh, the button over here that says Install. Uh, I think it's like Install Extension something like that uh, and it, don't worry about it by the way guys it's it's only an extension on Chrome right so it's not even like a, something you download to your computer nothing of like that it's literally just an extension on Chrome it's super lightweight uh, it's easy peasy so download it once it's downloaded you're gonna have uh, your main trade website right so this is the main path of exile trade website uh, reload that and it's gonna have this over on the right side now better trading oh my god it's amazing so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna walk you guys through kind of some of these features uh, and how it could uh, help you guys in either you you know making a build um, a new league situation or maybe doing some map strategies um, there's tons of things that this is could be really really useful for I've, I've passed it along to my community and every single person it's been like oh my god that's amazing uh, so we're all using it and I think personally for me and for my build guides going forward as you guys know I have um, this right here which is my spreadsheet if it loads it might not load here yeah so like all my spreadsheet where I keep all my builds um, and I have all the trade links down here. I'm probably still going to do that, so don't worry about that. It's not going to go away because uh, it's really nice to have, you know, your your low budget to your medium budget to your high budget. Plus, you got some notes over here, so that's still really good. Uh, but we can actually use this now, and I can send you guys the pastebin link for like folders, like this Skelly Mage uh, folder that I have made, and you guys can have this basically directly imported into your trade website. Uh, and it's just right there for you so you don't have to go back and forth between you know this which is kind of wordy I, I definitely understand that this is kind of it might seem like a lot right in, in this um so you know just going over here and it's just all right there some people might like that better than uh, the spreadsheet some people might like the spreadsheet better who knows but now you guys are going to at least have a couple options with all of my build guys okay so let's kind of go over the basics here and honestly this is pretty simple i'm not going to make this a long video at all i'm just going to kind of go over some of the top features that i like uh, so first and foremost is clicking a new folder right here is going to bring this screen up right here and this is where i would say like you know i did that skelly mage right so i did skelly mage and then i clicked the necromancer and i hit save so if you do that, it'll pop up like this, right? So it'll be skelly mates. There won't be any of this in there yet. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're just going to go over here. Let's just do, I don't know, Shaverns wrappings, right? Uh, let's click that. We're going to search. Okay, so you search and then down here, it's going to say register current trade. So you're going to click that, right? And when you click that, it's going to register that trade in your list of trades over here. So you can forever have that trade instantly when you want to do it. Um, that trade link, right? So you don't have to ever go back and you know find all of the intricate stuff and click all of these things and then click this and then find where it is in here and then add all these modifiers, right? It's just literally right there. So like a good example of that would be like a large cluster, right? So you click on the cluster and bam, it's ready to go. So whereas instead, like I've had to enter all this stuff, right? And that could take, you know, 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes to kind of figure out what you need for all of these filters. Not anymore. You're good to go and you'll have that forever for all the leaks going forward. Uh, so super, super cool for organizing builds. 
uh, especially for content creators like myself, you know, just being able to give you a folder that you can pop open inside your own trade website and then just click stuff and you're taken right to it. Man, that's awesome for me. I love that. And I hope you guys uh, get some benefit out of that as well. But there's some more features that you can do uh, with this. And I guess before we even go into the more features, let's just kind of walk you through some of the buttons here, right? Uh, so obviously this button just opens it and closes it. Okay. And then you also have these three little dots right here. So clicking these three dots, edit is going to bring up just the name and the icons. You can change those. Uh, pretty simple. You can delete it, obviously, or you can export and share it. So this is how I'm going to be getting you guys the folders for y'all to use. Or if you guys got friends that y'all want to share it between, this is how you do it. So you export and share, and you can copy it to clipboard. So I'm going to copy that, right? And how I'm going to be doing it for you guys is I'm going to be doing it through Pastebin. And I have a Pastebin account. It's free to have a Pastebin account. So I'll just go in and I will. So let's just do a new one, right? So I'll hit plus paste and I literally just paste it right there. And then I would give it a name, you know, test paste and I would create new paste and then it saves it uh, forever. Right. And from here, you would take the Pastebin link up top. You would copy that and you would give that to your friend. Or for me, I want to give that to you guys. Um, and they're, they're going to open it up, right? So they're going to take that link and they're going to type it into their, their little bar here. And all they have to do or all you guys have to do in order to actually use that folder that I created, you just copy all of this, right? So double click, right click, copy it. And then you're going to go back in here. And now we're back into the trade website, right? Uh, and at the very, very bottom down here, let's just make sure this is gone. You don't have to do that, but let's just do that so I can show you guys. Uh, import folder, right? So the bottom right button, import, and then we're gonna paste all of that right there. Bam, easy peasy. Skelly Mages, 25 bookmarks, save. So if I were to hit save, it would just pops up right over there. Oh my God, so amazing. I can't get over how amazing this is. Uh, so super simple too, right? They're like, that's literally some of the only options here, right? Um, this little button over here, if you click this, you can drag it and you can move it around so you can kind of organize your stuff. Uh, within the actual kind of links down here, there is a couple more things you could do as well. So if you click the three buttons again, the three little dots, there's a couple more things here. You copy to URL to clipboard, which is nice if you wanna you know, copy it and send it to a friend or something like that. Um, the most or the best one that I think is super useful is this right here, live search. Um, so let's click live search, right? So it's going to live search. And if you guys don't know what live search is, it's super, super nice for saving currency, right? Um, or for being able to be the first one to buy something. But mainly I would say for saving currency, let's say a Chavern's wrappings that you're trying to buy or any item, right? Is normally sells for one exalt. And that's just the normal baseline price. If you do a live search on it, any Chavern's wrappings that pops up, it will give you like a little beep sound and it tells you, hey, a Chavern's wrappings was just listed um, and you can set the parameters for like how much you wanna spend. So if you know that it's one exalt price normally, maybe I set it for 0.8 exalts or 0.5 exalts. And if that happens within that parameter, somebody lists it for 0.5 exalts, which is much lower than it normally is, it'll go bing and tell me. And then I come over here to this live search and then bam, it pops up and I whisper them and hopefully I buy it and maybe save some currency. Uh, so let's actually set one up so you guys can maybe see one. Let me, let's do like an easy peasy one that hopefully a bunch will pop up. Um, maybe we can do a stitch and vise. I bet it'll, not a lot of these are going to pop up just because this is a, a pretty specific build. We'll, we'll, we'll pop this one up. Uh, we'll open up another link. And if something comes up in the meantime, that'll be pretty cool. And we'll, we'll show you how, what it actually looks like. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, doing live searching is, is super cool. Uh, and having it just right there, live search, click it, and it sets it up. So really good at a league start scenario where, uh, let's say this is my entire build, right? In a league start situation, I could literally make a tab for every single item and I could make a live search for every single item so that anytime one of those popped up, bam, I could snatch it up and most likely pay a lot less than I would be paying uh, if, you know, it's the 30th one that pops up and every, oh, now every, now some streamers playing the build, you know what I mean? Uh, so you can get stuff a lot cheaper if you do like uh, the live search stuff. And then obviously there's just other stuff, you know, there's Marcus complete, which I'm probably not going to use just because I like just kind of having it all right here. Uh, edit, delete. So some pretty basic stuff. Um, so that is actually, and then the same concept over here with the up and down, like you can move this stuff up, up and down. Uh, perfect. So some examples of kind of ways you could do this. I actually had like a, a oh, there it is. See, look, pop. And then there you go. Something popped up 
And if this was like four exalt and it's normally like 10 exalts, I'd be like, oh my God. And then I'd whisper them and, you know, hopefully be able to get it. Uh, and you can actually adjust that as well. Uh, the little beep thing, you can actually adjust that noise uh, as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's close this out and I'll show you this. So I actually made a folder called Snipe and you guys could do this too. Uh, I'm not the best like, you know, trade website warrior out there. I usually just play the game and I'm chilling. Uh, but I know a lot of people out there, you know, can make a ton of currency by just sitting and sniping items um, off of, you know, literally what I just said, like the Shaverns wrappings normally sells for an exalt. But if you set a live search for like 0.5 exalts, you buy it at 0.5 and then you go sell it for one exalt and you made 0.5 exalts for literally no work. You know what I mean? There's tons and tons of items out there that you can flip basically uh, or snipe, however you want to call it. Uh, so you can actually literally make a folder and it has all of like your favorite things to flip in it. Right. And then you would just search live for it. So like here's ES on hit with discipline. Right. So these are usually really expensive. Nine exalts, nine exalts. But let's say I wanted to search and go all the way down here and buy out price. And I know that they're normally nine exalts. Right. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit exalted orbs and I'm going to say, I don't know, six. Right. Uh, so it's only going to do that bing if it is listed and it's under six exalts. So I would hit search. Uh, nothing's going to be found, which is fine. And then you activate live search over here. And then that's when you can register current trade, right? So then you could say like that. What did I say? Yes. On hit with discipline. Uh, and then I'm gonna do like in parentheses, um, cheap under six X, something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, and then that tells me that I know that this one is going to be like a super snipe basically. Right. Uh, and then this one was just for in case it comes up in general because they're kind of rare uh, and I don't mind paying like full price for it. But this one I know, you know, I can maybe get a little bit extra currency and make some currency. So uh, and there's other stuff, right? You know, anything. There's so many different items. This is not what this guide is going to be about, like what items to snipe. It's just the fact that you can like make a folder. You can put everything in there. You can categorize it, make it super easy. You can literally just do this. You can go like uh, live search and then you can open up another one. You can go back to snipe. You can live search this one. Bam, you know, open up another one and then live search this one. And it's just super easy. It just saves you so much time. Uh, so let's close out of that one. Some other stuff like I think it would be pretty cool to, you know, like your mapping strategies. Uh, you could literally just put in here. Bing. Uh, you could. Li oh, God, it's maybe it's going to go crazy. <laughs> let's turn this one off. Um, you could literally do like, you know, breach scarabs. Like I know that I normally search for breach scarabs. I just put it in here to save me some time. You know what I mean? Uh, and then there you go. Maybe I could do the activate live search, save some extra currency. But maybe I just know that I, I search for built gilded breach scarabs all the time. And I don't want to have to go through the hassle of like clicking this and then scrolling down. Oh, where is it? Oh, no, we got to go to bulk exchange. Uh, where's the scarab scarabs? Where the hell is the blight? The breach scare? Oh, there it is. No, nope, I want this one. And then I want this. And then minimum put the five and then you search right I, all of that i could have literally just instantly done and i'm done so you can kind of organize your stuff right there that's pretty cool uh, i like this kind of thing uh doing like a whole strategy like a map strategy in a folder uh, so like the lyra breach strat farming uh, breach farming strategy uh, you literally just have it all right there so also that's two things one it's easy for you you can set it up very easily and going forward it's, if you ever want to do this strategy you just click your stuff and you know exactly how to do it uh, and you have all the items that you need for it right there at your fingertips right uh, and that's the twofold there because also you will always now have what the lyra breach strat uh, basically entails like what you need to get it going if you ever forget in the future you're like oh i can't remember which you know which scarabs did i need for this strategy it's there it's ready to go um and, and you're good to go right i get your awaken sections you got your blind scarab you got your breach scarabs and you got your your map whatever map that you want and you register the trade and it's all right there you can do the live searches easy peasy or not do the live searches and you're done it's so easy this is such a, I don't know, it just blows my mind that I've never known about this. Uh, it's just a huge time saver. Um, I think I'm more excited about it just because it's going to be, I think, really cool for you guys. Like when I give you guys builds that you can just have this and you can, like I said, you, you copy the Im import, the folder, uh, and then bear, there you go. Bam. My entire build is right there for you guys to just click on stuff. I think that's super cool. Um, I hope you guys think that's super cool. If it is, let me know in the comments. If you guys actually start using this, like I said, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys are liking it. If y'all are not liking it, let me know as well. It, it, maybe it kind of does suck that it's only in Chrome, really. Um, doesn't bother me too much. I'm going to definitely use it. I'm usually a Opera GX 
a browser user, but I'm gonna switch over to Chrome literally for better PoE trading. So that's all I got on this one, guys. Super short video. I hope you guys liked it, and I will catch you guys in the next one.